Alright, and hey there Proxians, and this is Proxify here, and guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Heart Gold Proxvox. So if you guys missed out in the last episode, we are continuing our way throughout the Rocket Hideout. We just went and battled out with Betrayal, and now we actually do have one more Rocket Executive left here in this area, which that is going to be Ariana, and we have to go and do that double battle, which Lance is going to be helping us out with that uh, when we actually do and go and take care of that battle. Um, but also to off recording, I actually did go and find out that I actually do have a rare candy because i was searching around here uh during our time to go and look for some of the other items and i did come across a rare candy so i will be actually going and using that on my pokemon uh just in a very little bit but right uh before uh but for right now we're just going to be doing a team recap at the very beginning of all this i did go and uh kind of heal up on all my pokemon and used up the last bit of my full heals just so i can get everybody back up into uh back together so that we don't really have to worry about having to go back to the pokemon center or anything like that just yet uh i'll worry about going back to the pokemon center uh during the time when we actually do start heading on over to where the golden rod radio tower is going to be but for right now let's just go and take care of our team recap let's see how everybody is doing so we actually do have ssbl at level 30 does have the quick claw of course does have detect metal claw bone rush and also force palm we also do have kilowatt at level 31 with the life we're still here that does have headbutt swift uh, thunder punch and also low kick we also do have Devin at level 26 with the odd incense does have magnet rise recover side beam and also nasty punt we also do have helen at level 23 with the stone plate that does have cut rock throw mini tune and also extra century we also do have morrison at level 30 with the exp share on does have bulk up peck ember and also double kick and we also can't forget about redfield at level 28 does have the mystic water does have metal claw fly surf and also source dance so that is basically everybody on the team so without further ado let's go follow out where that murkrow went and uh, let's go start chasing after it now i think he ran up these stairs right so yeah, so let's go and continue on following him throughout here. So the password is LG Obani. Well, we already kind of know that. So let's go and keep on heading down there. Okay. Now, also as well too, uh, I do want to say that there should be a live stream coming up throughout this week. Uh, it should be happening around Wednesday, so hopefully you guys go and uh, check out on that uh, for the continuation of the Kirby Return to Dreamland, because we are getting pretty much close uh, to be almost finishing out off with the Kirby uh, Return to Dreamland pretty soon. I think there's only like eight worlds or something like that in there, so right now we're just starting to head into, I believe, uh, World 6 or World 5. I can't really remember exactly, but we are getting pretty close to, uh, to the ending, because we already just got ourselves a another part of the equipment uh for the uh lore ship uh that we need to go and kind of help out uh with uh, one of the other characters here uh but Mercury screamed the password mimicking the voice of betrayal and now finally the doors are going to be opening but it's not going to be uh it's not going to be smooth sailing from here because we also do have ariana around this part so uh yep here we go so hold it right there oh man now, uh, let's see. So we can let a brat like you, uh, do you, uh, please, uh, or forever. Uh, it will hurt Team Rocket's pride over and over again. So make it a lesson that you see. Uh, so it's time to finish you however strong that you may be. If the two of us fight at the same time, uh, you'll have no chance of winning. So do you agree? So he, uh, sorry, baby, but now get ready to be thrashed. Oh, man. But here we go. Lance is going to come and also help us out as well, too, because I think it's Dragonite uh, should be uh, basically uh, pretty much uh, prepared for this. But also, too, if I'm not mistaken, I think also Lance's Pokemon should also be randomized during the time of this, or it will be Vanilla. I think if I remember during our time the, of the Soul Silver randomizer, I think it's Dragonite. I think it's still Vanilla, but I could be wrong. Guys, so there's a Pupitar and an Unknown, so that really shouldn't be too bad. Oh, so he does actually have uh, his... his um, Dragonite actually randomized out here. Okay. So this really should be too bad because if I'm not mistaken, Pupitar should be dark type or he should be ground type, but either way, it should do quite a bit of damage. Yeah, okay, there we go. So Pupitar is finished and done with, so that is going to be an easy win right there, so we'll take it. And let's see what we can do with this uh, unknown. Now, I don't know what type of unknown uh, is going to have for his hidden power. Hopefully, it's not going to be fire because that would be a little bit scary if it is. Um, oh my goodness, what's it gonna do? Ouch! Okay, so I guess it was hidden power fire, it looks like. Um, now I should probably go and switch on out here, but it's usually gonna start to try Mecho, so I think that should be, uh, basically what we should kind of go out and do is just set up for some surfs and whatnot. So let's go for it. Ah, uh, so unfortunately that's not gonna work. Yeah, so it seems like it is, uh, hidden power fire, because it seems like it's doing a little bit of damage. Okay. Or it could be uh, Hidden Power Ground, though. Or, um, or Fighting or something like that. 
Okay, so everyone's getting buffed by the uh, by the by the uh, sandstorm, but I think one good surf should probably go and do the trick and kind of knock out everybody that's here. Yeah, sorry about that hippopotamus, but I just want to make sure that everybody goes down. Oh yeah, there we go. Redfield's gonna be getting ourselves quite a bit of EXP from all of this, but not really the best that I was looking for though. Yeah, it's just only like uh, 157 EXP though. But hey. Either way, we'll take it, because uh, now we're going to be at level 29, so very nice. Now, also as well, uh, throughout these two videos, you guys should be able to see another episode of the... Uh, oh, okay, well, this should be, be all this too bad anyway, so let's so, uh, go and set up for that surf, and uh, this cube donut is going to be finished. Uh, so yeah, we should be able... Uh, uh, you guys should be able to go in and see that there will be a Final Fantasy IX episode as well, because we are going to be getting ourselves a brand new member on our team, which that is going to be, of course, uh, Kina. And uh, that's going to be our fourth and uh, final member uh, throughout our time, throughout this uh, disc. Uh, now we actually do have slow bro, so I am going to switch out into kilowatt here. Because I do not want to try and risk out on anything too crazy with the slow bro. Alright, go and injure yourself. That's fine, I'm going to set for a thunder punch. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so close, but I think that sandstorm should be able to... Uh, Oh, really? And then you set for disable, but either way, I think this little bro should be uh, be finished and done with, because once the sandstorm hits, this little bro should be gone. Oh, come on, really? Alright, here, how about a headbutt to the face? There we go, and that's how we get it done. And you know, little by little, our uh, life orb is kind of draining our HP, but either way, it's going to be helping us out quite a bit. So that is good. So you really are strong, so it's too bad that if you were to join Team Rocket, you could become an executive. Well, we actually do become a Rocket member, but not, not a Rocket executive. That would be cool, uh, to be honest with you, is that uh, if, if you actually did have, like, the option when you actually go to the underground so that you could be able to, like, change out into your outfit as a Rocket member, you can also, like, switch it into, like, becoming, like, a Rocket executive or something like that. That would be pretty cool. But anyways, uh, so sorry, Prox. I saw how well that you were doing, so I was just hung back. Now all that there is left is to do uh, turn off that odd radio signal. Yes. Okay, but now it's time to go and battle out all these other different electrodes because I would like to see what our stack electrode is going to be like. Well, so this is a machine that causes all the problems, so I don't see a switch on it. So we have no choice. We have to make all the electrodes faint. So th uh, that should stop this machine from transmitting that strange signal, but it's no fault of the electrodes, so it makes me feel sad. But products, let's go and split the job. Okay, of course. And let's see. So I would like to actually go and set up for our rare candy right now. And let's actually go and give that over to... Hmm, we can actually give that to Redfield and actually make him level 30 right away. Or I can actually go and give it to Devin or Helen. Um, I think let's actually give it to Helen, I think. Not probably to Redfield, because I know that we're going to probably not really use Helen all that too much. So I'll just go and uh, boost her up a little bit. Uh, now we do actually have a little bit of supers left, but I do want to go and head back to the uh, to the Goldenrod uh, Mall pretty soon because I wouldn't mind picking up on a few full heals if there is going to be any over at that place. Okay, here we go. We got ourselves our first Electro. What is our uh, Pokemon going to be for this static encounter? And it is going to be a Gengar. Wow, that is a really nice good choice, but unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, be able to pick this up because I only have like so many Great Balls. Um, now, I don't know if Metal Claw is going to do a lot of damage. Hopefully, it's not going to be, like, destroying it entirely. Ooh, oh, come on. It was a critical hit, too. Wow, what the heck? Man, that Gengar would have been so awesome on the team, but unfortunately, I guess that is just not going to happen. Damn. So, I guess all of these Pokemon would literally just be all Gengars out here? No, it would actually be Din, too. Oh, wow, that would have been an awesome choice. But say with that Gengar, though, that would have been amazing to have on our team. But unfortunately, uh, Din was there. Oh, right, yeah, we have to actually go and destroy it. So we do have to go and literally uh, take out this Heracross. Okay, so let's go and switch up into a red field. We do have Fly, so that should be able to go and do a little bit of some damage here. So fly up in the air. Go do your thing, red field. Yep. So there goes the Heracross, already finished and done with. And uh, let's go and see what our uh, our last Electro is going to be. That'd be wild if this last Pokemon was going to be like a Legendary or something like that. Let's see. Oh man, it was going to be a Monferno. We could have had Luffy coming back on the team. That would have been awesome. Unfortunately, uh, that is just not going to be happening. And unfortunately, two bow rushes to the face and Monferno is already gone. But hey, I'll take up the level. 
Eh. Level 31, let's go get it. Nice. Hey, and also two more since that we have level 31. I think it should be the right and proper time that I think I probably should start switching around uh, with the EXP share and actually get that over to Helen probably because I don't think I'm going to be using Helen for like a little bit throughout our time uh, throughout Price's Gym anyway so I wouldn't mind actually taking a little bit of the extra levels during our, our time throughout here. So we got ourselves uh, T uh, or HMO5 actually. So that's going to be Whirlpool, so that's going to be nice, so that's going to be kind of a big help when we actually do start heading on over to Blackstorm City, but we just can't do that just yet. We got a few other rocket shenanigans to actually go and take care of first. So if you give up that easily, you would never have to chase uh, the dream in the first place, so I look forward to seeing you again. Yep. Now, I'm pretty sure the guy that should be here, that that's like kind of like having this house that is kind of like a secret hideout, I think this dude should be able to give us some items and stuff like that from his shop now. I could be wrong, but I don't know if I have to exit out of it first. Oh no, never mind. I guess there is nobody here. Huh. I thought Mah I thought Mahogany Town actually had like an area or something that you would just be able to like go and buy like some items and stuff from here, but it seems like this is the only one place that doesn't really have that. So I heard that the Red Garrett has appeared on like a rage. Okay, so nothing really too interesting from you. So it looks like we do actually have to go and make our way down to where Goldenrod is, so let's go and do that immediately. Because I don't think uh, Price's Gym is already... Well, is Price's Gym already open? Because I think we could actually go and head right into his gym right here. Yeah, so that guy already moved out of the way. But I'm not doing that just yet. Because uh, we should be able to just go and just head right over to Goldenrod. And just take care of the stuff that's going to be there. Uh, there we go. Goldenrod, the big huge city. Let's go head down that way. Because I want my game a few more uh, EXP grinded a little bit here and there. Yep, and they're already located around this part it's kind of nice to actually kind of have that option if you kind of want to go and head into like prices gym right away or you can just go and just literally take care of the uh of the actual uh team rocket stuff and whatnot to actually like get a little bit more uh, training in which i think that's what i'm going to be doing because we actually have a few other executives to go out and battle with and i do see that the rocket members are all blocking all certain different aspects of this place but I do want to just head right over here. Come on, there has to at least be some full kills around in this area. I need at least something. So we actually got some hypers, which I don't mind actually going to pick it up those, because those are actually kind of important to have. So we'll actually pick those up. And there we go, so that's one thing done. But I do need those full heals. Yes, okay. Just give me 10 of those, don't really need a whole lot of them. But at least we'll just take a little bit here and there. And now the last bit of stuff is actually going to be those Ultra Balls. Because I did say in the last episode that I did want to pick up on some Ultra Balls. Just for the fact is, is that since we're going to be heading into like other different routes. And there's going to be some Pokemon that are going to be pretty high levels. I wouldn't mind actually uh, picking up on some of these Ultra Balls. If we're going to be having to deal with those type of Pokemon. Okay. There we go. So thank you. And let's go down to the Underground. Now hopefully... With everything that's being said here in the Golden Rod City, I know that this area is kind of like the area where mainly most of the time whenever you play this game on on, the, on Desume or whatnot, it always gets glitched up around here. So hopefully when we actually do this, hopefully it's not going to act up. I just want everything to just be somewhat okay when we do head down to the underground here. Okay, so everything is fine. I know that we already did a little bit of battle in here and there, but there should be a rocket grind up in this area, right? Hmm. Maybe we actually have to go inside the, the radio tower first and then worry about what goes on in that place. Hold on. Let's go and exit on out of there. And back to the radio tower. There has to be something that happens in this place. Okay. Oh no, it seems like nothing hasn't really went on just yet. Hmm. Now, is there something that I'm missing here? Do I have to like go and talk to somebody? So this is the radio tower. So maybe you want pest scram? Oh, maybe I do have to take care of Price before I go and worry about this. Hmm. So then why is there a rocket grub blocking or being here? So you don't you don't belong here, get lost. Hmm. Maybe I do have to worry about it. Okay then. So it looks like I have to go and actually take care of Mahogany Town first. Hmm. I thought you would be able to actually have the option to just go right into the radio tower all after doing that whole entire battle, but Maybe oh right because I think what happens is, is that I think Elm has to like literally go and call you I think after you do the battle here with price 
So it looks like this is what we're going to be doing here for the time being. So I'll just take a care of a little bit of some of the gym here and there and uh, see what we can go in battle. Uh, now, before we actually go and worry about that, let's actually go and take care of this item, move it off from you, and I'll take off this item from you with the stone plate. But we will be putting that back on pretty soon, though. Here, uh, you can just take the XP share. If I can find it, there we go. And I think we should be set. So, let's just go and take care of the battles right now, and I'll just switch around with Morrison. Just to get a little bit so I'm not grinding in. Alright, let's do it. Let's take care of this guy. So this gym is a slippery floor. Is it fun? Isn't it? But hey, we're not playing games here. Nah. Let's see what the snowboarder guy is going to have. Actually, it does have a let strike. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring out Devin out here for this. So we should be fine. Just going to set up for a side beam. That should do quite a bit of damage. And there we go. Already knocks it out. So not too shabby. Okay, not bad, not bad. Sceptile, we'll just stay on in. That shouldn't be too much of a problem either. One good side beam should go and do the trick there. Oh, maybe a few ones. And no, nope, not even gonna worry about that. Worry about my defense. No, we're still good. Now that should be actually quite a bit of some good EXP for Devin for, for a little while. Okay, so not bad at all. We still have another trainer to go out and fight with. And I think this will probably be the last trainer that we're going to probably worry about. And uh, we'll take care of Price's gym uh, throughout the other uh, throughout the other half, throughout the other time uh, for the next episode. So let's see what else we got. So Cricket Tune, that should be too much of a problem. We do have Ember Peck, so. Uh, but let's see, maybe an Ember can do a little bit of some damage there. Oh, nice. There we go. Hope we could get Blaze Kick at some point. And then that could actually be really nice against all these bug type Pokemon that are going to be around here. Okay, so there we go. So that gear is also finished and done with. And let's just go and end off the episode out here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, in the next one, guys, we're going to be uh, continuing again uh, throughout uh, our time uh, in Price's Gym. We'll just go and make sure that we go and battle on all the other different trainers that are going to be around here. And then after once all of that is being said and finished, uh, then we should be able to just go and head right on over to the Radio Tower and actually get to go and become a Rocket Grunt uh, so that we can be able to just go inside the area being in disguise and whatnot. So I'll see you guys in the next one and peace.